The torch run for the Special Olympics started in 1985, and today it is still going strong. Local Torch Perry Shively joins us now with more on how you can see the torch. And good morning, Perry. Good morning to you, John. Law enforcement officers from around the state of Ohio start at different points and carry the torch to different locations, and eventually it ends up at Ohio State University for the start of the opening ceremonies for the state's Special Olympics. Today, though, it starts here in Cincinnati at the police memorial at 9 a.m. There will be a brief ceremony and then it will take to the road for a 16 mile trip to the Springdale Police Department. Now, the trip is going to go on Central Parkway to Liberty Street, Dalton Avenue, Spring Grove Avenue, eventually ending up on Princeton Pike, Northland Boulevard and Lawnview Avenue. So you can see the torch traveling through the streets in some of those locations. Ohio's law enforcement community has supported this effort since 1985 and it has grown steadily since that first year. That first year, 10 officers from Southern Ohio ran in Cincinnati. Last year across Ohio, nearly 2,000 participants raised more than $620,000 for Special Olympics. So this is a big, big effort. And we talked to Tiffany Hardy, Director of Communications for the Police Department about what's happening. Our bike cops might be riding their bikes, our motorcycle officers might be on their, their, their bikes, their motorcycles. Then we'll have some officer that will be running the first leg, 16 miles. Some of the officers will actually run all the way, the next couple days, all the way to Ohio State. So the final leg takes place on Friday. It's a long journey, but one again that is starting here locally today. John, back to you. All right, Perry, thank you. And the torch run reaches a total of 50 states and 25 countries around the world as a way to raise money for the Special Olympics.